Hello Fox and Marvelous. I'm back again for some updates on the Loon Class Acrona Plan 144 scale by Takcom. So this is a uh, part two. Uh, I've brought you the uh, inbox review and also part one probably about a week ago. So this is uh, where I'm at and uh, I have, uh, let me start off here. I've already glued the front fuselage uh, portion and uh, you can see the cockpit is in there and uh, on this section of the fuselage there was uh, quite a bit of a putty and sand job on this uh, piece here so I did quite a lot of sanding and uh, I will have to actually put a primer to see if there are any more gaps because at this level I can't really tell if there are any gaps and same goes for the other side and uh, the top portion here required a lot of uh, sanding and this part here was uh, really difficult to sand because these guns were in the way and I'm thinking maybe I should uh, actually cut it off and replace it with a uh, brass like what everybody else is doing but I haven't uh, cut it off yet and for this back portion of the fuselage I have actually uh, combined it but I have not glued it yet so the reason why I combined it is because I wanted to sand off these areas here and I think this part is gonna be it's gonna be the problem because there are visible gaps and uh, it will have to be put it and send it off and for the other places like here eventually every uh, seam lines have to be I think it has to be put it uh, this is how big it looks like it's quite uh, long it's, a, it's about 500 millimeter so eventually all these uh, you know seam lines will have to be put it off and sanded so there's quite a lot of jobs here even though there are only a few pieces and uh, for this bottom part I did put it but there are still gaps which I need to take care of and also I have uh, done up a lot of uh, the big parts the other parts like this and same goes for all these uh, seam lines I need to do a lot of putty and sanding for the tail here there was also some gaps but for these wings uh, it was quite minimal I did have to put uh, some of the dissolved putties but uh, for example like here and I'll need to send this off so eventually all the this is the engine all the seam lines will have to be sanded putty and uh, I've painted these engines in 
the instruction doesn't say it's orange but uh, the photo that is shown on the internet on the real plane that looks very orange to me so so I'm gonna paint it like that uh, I'll probably weather it wash it a bit with white to make it uh, lighter and these are also some of the engine parts that goes in here so I think for this model uh, it's quite a few parts big parts and but yes there are still putty sending work but it's not as bad as the uh, Super Hercules, which I really had to put a lot of putty to get it right. This is uh, it's quite... Uh, I mean, the lines, uh, the gaps are not so bad, but it does require putty. So I'm using this uh, dissolve uh, putty instead of the tubes and uh, so this is where I'm at and I think it's still a bit of a way to go. So the sanding and putting is uh, taking a lot of time for this model but assembling probably not much. So once I've uh, sanded all these big parts, it's going to go together and after that, it's going to be the painting and primer job. So I think uh, this is all the updates that I have for this time. And I think next, uh, I'll bring you the update for the Super Hercules which uh, I have primed it but I have not painted it. Uh, I hope to come back with an update after I paint it and I'll, I hope I, I'll get to do that over the weekend and probably bring another update to you. So I guess uh, this is it for this time. Uh, video is a little bit short but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and goodbye.